Good evening, everyone. Tonight I thought I'd show you the joy of being able to combine being a musician with being a piano technician. If you're playing a piece, something like Tremorai, that's going along. And all of a sudden, with each note you play, you hear this clicking noise. <laughs> you have to figure out what it is that's happening, what's causing it, and how to solve that problem. Uh, a friend of mine, Henry Hoagland, was the tuner of the National Arts Center for over 30 years, and I was apprenticed by him in rebuilding pianos. And you have to understand what a whippin is. And I'll tr bring this closer to the iPad so that you can see it. That's a whippin. And the jack pushes the hammer up when you depress the key and it pushes up on the whippin. The jack goes up and it sends the hammer up in, or forward in, on the upright action into the wire. And that jack, I noticed it was loose. See, it's, I don't know if you can tell from this, but it's, it's wobbling left and right. And it shouldn't be wobbling at all. And it needs to be tight. So I realized that it's the pin. The f there's a felt bushing in there in each side, on this side and on this side, and there's a center pin goes through there. It's tight in the, w in, in the jack, but it's going through a piece of felt on either side. And this piano was so bad, badly worn and practiced on, used, that the felt became loose and the pin is wobbling in that felt. And that's where the clicking is coming from. And so, you can take felt like this, they sell it like strips of, of red felt, and you can work it into that hole on either side, clean it off with an alpha knife, and then put a new pin in and it, it'll be good again, but it's a huge job, because there's a pin here and a pin here, a pin here, a pin here, and that's just for the whipping. So, then there's the hammer shank and so on. So you, you buy the felt like that, you see, from Brassard, Quebec, and Pianophile in Brassard, Quebec. Once you put that new felt in, you have to use this tool here. It's a reamer, and it's, it's rough on, this, on one side there. And so when you put it in the hole and turn it, it f files away a little bit, wee bit of the felt so that it's not tight. But if it is causing friction and you don't want to go to all that bother, sometimes this stuff, Protec, you just a dab on either side of that f pin in the felt, frees it up. So with a little bit of wiggling. So uh, I'll show you how you get that pin out. You see there's this is a center pin extractor, and so you just put the pin in there, put it like that, and squeeze, and it pushes the pin right through and out, and then you just put pliers on and pull it the rest of the way. So I've redone the, pi the flange that holds the whipping to the rail. And it's as solid, you see, you wiggle, you can't wiggle it at all. It's as tight as can be, and yet it's free this way. So that's perfect. Then I just take cutters, like this, and I just put it on there like that, on around that pin that's, the end of the pin that's sticking out, and squeeze tight and clamp it and s snap it off, and then make it even on either side and by just pushing a bit on it like that. And then it's perfect, just like it was in the factory when it's brand new. So I've got to do the f jack now. I did this flange and it's tight, but this, this is all loose, so we can't have it loose like that because it makes a clicking noise. It's just no good at all. So I just wanted to show you that so that you realize if you're playing and your piano starts to make a noise, there are ways around that. You can solve those problems and 
You just have to know what to do. <laughs> and, uh, or get a technician to do it, a qualified technician. And then when you go to play, your instrument will respond better again. You don't want any clicking while you're doing that. So don't give up on your instrument if it's making funny noises or anything. There's always a solution to putting it back to the way the piano was when it was first built. Anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas. Have a good night. Bye-bye.